today's video, I'm gonna show you guys the top five RGB effects inside of Azure Effects that will instantly level up your edits no matter what style of editing you do. Before we get into it, if you want effects like the ones you see in this video, I've got a free preset pack from my all-in-one editing pack on my store. It's loaded with effects I use on an everyday basis, so grab it for free if you guys wanna level up your edits. So the first effect I'm gonna be showing you guys is going to be Time Warp RGB. Let me show you how to do it. So inside of Azure Effects, I have a couple example videos that we're gonna be doing it on. The first step that we wanna do is right click, click new, and then click on adjustment layer. Next, you wanna head up to effects and presets. Then we're gonna simply type in Time Warp RGB. We're gonna grab it and put it onto our adjustment layer. Now, if you don't have the Sapphire plugin, I have plenty of tutorials on my channel. If you guys wanna check out those, they get some cool effects with no plugins. So instantly after we put Time Warp RGB onto our adjustment layer, you can see that we get this juicy RGB echo to your whole entire video. Now, if you want the effect to look like this, then hey, you're done. You can skip to the next effect. But in my case, I usually use this as a transition. So first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna click T on our keyboard. Then we're gonna click on our little stopwatch on 100 at our transition. Now we're just gonna go back a few frames and then we're gonna put this to zero. Now we're gonna go ahead a little bit farther and then we're gonna put this to zero. Now, if you have a couple transitions, all you have to do is highlight them, control C, control V, and just place it in the middle. And if you play it back, you have just created an amazing RGB effect in only a couple clicks. Now, another RGB effect I use all the time is Warp Chroma. It throws this colorful chroma haze around your footage and it gives your footage that texture that it's been missing. First step is right click new and just adding a new adjustment layer. Now we're gonna go up to effects and presets and we're gonna type in Warp Chroma. We're gonna grab that Warp Chroma and put it onto our adjustment layer. Now out of the box, it looks a little too crazy. So let me show you the sauce. Go over to the from Z distance and we're going to change this to 0.975. Now adjust the Z distance up and down to get your desired look and move the center point to your subject to have that RGB effect surround your subject. I'm pretty sure I just said subject twice. Warp Chroma is a great effect that is universal and can be used in so many editing styles when you need that extra little sauce. But if you wanna take this effect even farther, let me show you how you can create this saucy RGB border effect. So we're gonna follow the same steps, click new, add in your adjustment layer. We're gonna be re-adding Warp Chroma to this adjustment layer. Now go up to the from Z distance and change this to one. Now go down to the Z distance right here and change this to 0.5. Now go up to these steps and change this to five. Now after clicking on your adjustment layer, go up to your shape tool and do a hold down and then click on the ellipse tool. Now we're gonna click in the center of our video, hold down the click button and hold down control. And then now we're just gonna create a mask around our video. Now just create a mask, something kind of just like this. Next, we're gonna go down to the mask and we're gonna click on the invert button. And then we're gonna click down on the drop down and on the mask feather, this is where the sauce comes in on how we kind of just kind of smoothen out the borders around our video. Now you can see that we have this echoey RGB border and from here on the mask, expansion we're gonna have to kind of make this a little bit more just to add in a little bit more sauce pretty much just play with the mass expansion and the mask shape to get your desired look and you have just created a beautiful rgb border effect in literally a couple minutes but if your transitions need some sauce let me show you how you can create this saucy rgb zoom transition sure we're gonna right click new and then we're gonna click on the adjustment layer now we're gonna type in transform and then we're gonna add a transform to our adjustment layer now just go to our transition. We're going to put a keyframe for the scale. We're going to click U to open this up. And we're going to go back a few frames. And then we're going to go one frame from the transition. And then we're going to change this to 250. Now we're going to go one frame ahead and we're going to change this to 50. Now we're going to go ahead. We're pretty much just making a simple zoom transition. So we're just going to go ahead a few frames and we're just going to highlight the first keyframe, control C, control V. Now we're just gonna highlight all these F9 to easy ease. Now we're just gonna go into our graph editor. Now we're just gonna make a simple graph. So just follow what I do is we just go like this, go like that, go like this and boom. So your graph should look something just like this. Now just head out of your graph editor, turn on motion blur. And a quick step I forgot is on your actual clips. For this second one, we have a motion tile on here. So if you need motion tile settings, just copy this onto your clip. This will get rid of the black borders around your video. So now if we play this back, we have a simple zoom in transition, but now we need to add the sauce. So I'll go up to effects and presets and we're going to type in warp chroma. 
add that warp chroma to our adjustment layer. Now on the from the distance, we want to change this to one. Now go down to the 2Z distance, and now we want to change this to 0.7. Now we're just going to put a little keyframe stopwatch for this, and then now we're going to go back a few frames, and we're going to change this to 1, and then go to our end of our transition and put this to 1 also. Highlight these F9 to easy ease. You play it back, you have just created a quick RGB zoom in transition. Now for the last effect, it is going to be chromatic aberration. This now is this is probably one of the best RGB effects on the list. It's packed with settings and texture controls that let you create the most detailed RGB look possible. So we just have some sample videos of a project I did for LA Thieves. And to add this sauce, we're just gonna right click new and add in a adjustment layer. Now we're gonna go to effects and presets and we're gonna to type in chromatic aberration. We're gonna click on it and then we're gonna add it to our adjustment layer. Now this effect is part of the universe plugin by Trap Code, and if you don't have it, just do your research. Once you've added, you'll see that we instantly get this really, really like saucy RGB look, but obviously you would probably never want to like export it just as is. So let me show you the settings. So the first step is on the master distortion. We're going to change this to 0.57. Next, on the master scale, we're going to change this to zero. Now we're going to turn down the RGB just slightly by going up to the red distortion and we're going to change this to 20. On the green distortion, we're going to change this to 15. And on the blue distortion, we're going to change this to 10. Now, if we go down to the blur right here, we're going to change the edge blur to 1.2. And we want the blur to be kind of subtle around our edges. So we want to change the edge radius to 1550. Now, the cool thing about this effect is down into the lens textures, you'll see that we have a variety of different lens textures that we can add to our video. We got dirt, we got bokeh, we got dried, we got smudges, we got water droplets, we got everything's in here. But in our case, we want to add in a viewfinder. We want to go down to the texture amount. This is where you can add how pretty much how much of the texture you want to see. In our case, I always like it to be very subtle. So I change this to 10. And as you can see, if we turn it on and off, you can see it just adds a very subtle, clean, kind of like grungy look to your video. I usually use this effect on pretty much almost every single project. You can play around with the settings to get your desired look, but overall, if you play it back, you have just created a juicy RGB chromatic aberration in literally minutes. And if you watch this video all the way to the end, you have just gathered all the infinity stones of RGB effects that you can use in your next video. That brings us to the end of the video. If you guys want that free editing preset pack, it is on my store in the link in the description. But on that note, just drop a like and comment down below if you guys want to see more tutorials like this. And I think on that note, I'll catch you guys in the next video. Who's in the